and welcome back to Sports Weekly on IEMG. Now, the weather has been wacky the last couple of weeks, and for the spring sports, specifically baseball in this case, it's been really hard to get some games in, especially at Arroyo Valley High School as well. Now, this is video from a game last season for the Arroyo Valley baseball team. In fact, I think that was a walk-off win against Eisenhower, but they've been struggling to get in games this year like a lot of teams because of the wet weather. In fact, we even had snow at one point, but this year's edition of the Arroyo Valley Hawks, they are very young, but they are very talented, and head coach Dennis Dufour thinks these guys, if they can put it together, will be in the mix for a league championship, and who knows, maybe a playoff run as well if they can grow up very quickly during league action in the Skyline League. And of course, it was just uh, in 2021, so just two seasons ago, that this Arroyo Valley program made it all the way to the CIF Southern Section Division 7 championship game. There's actually a couple players from that team that went to the finals that are still in the program. Head coach Dennis Dufour says this team is um, young, but they got talent. If they can consistently find a way to win games, they're going to be a problem. Here's coach Dennis Dufour. And now join us here on Sports Weekly on IEMG. He is the skipper for the Arroyo Valley Hawks and a good friend of the show, Dennis Dufour. And coach, first thing I want to get to before we actually talk nuts and bolts about the baseball season and about your team. Listen, I, I know the state of California needs water. And this is great. It's been a very cold and wet winter, and that's all great and everything. But at some point, we got to play some baseball. we got to get some baseball games in. And I know it's been very difficult, not just for yourself, but teams across the IE. I'm just trying to get games in early on in the season. Has it been a challenge for you? Oh, absolutely. Um, first of all, thank you for having me. I greatly appreciate uh, you taking the time to interview me today. Um, it has been a extremely difficult challenge to get games in, um, you know, between the weather. And this year, for the first time ever, I had the bright idea of let's host a tournament for the first time. <laughs> and uh, needless to say, trying to work out schedules with, you know, eight different schools and then trying to get umpires and on the varsity and JV level, it's been a crazy, crazy uh, month trying to get those in and fitting them in. Um, thank God I've, I've got a great athletic director in, in the, and he's actually the athletic director of the year, uh, Mr. Howell. Um, and he's been giving me some great advice and helping me out as much as he can. So that's been a great, what's the word I want to say? That's been a great just help like, towards me. Yeah. Just to be able to, uh, have him, you know, just someone to bounce things off of. And he's probably, you know, yeah. he's been through this before, maybe not for baseball, but for softball yeah. or something else to kind of get you through it but you know full disclosure so I texted you hoping that you guys were going to have a Saturday game against Colton because I've had a hard time getting out to high school baseball games because uh, you know when my schedule works out to go to a game it's like pouring rain or or snow for that matter um, yeah. in some circumstances but I was hoping you guys were going to have a, a big game against Colton and, and obviously the, the rain had other ideas um, but when you have a, a team that just needs playing time together coach is that a challenge in itself? Like, you know, the, the team needs more at bats. The guys need more innings on the mound. Like, how are how are we good, how are we supposed to get better and grow if we can't get any games in? You know, that's that's the biggest challenge of 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 our team right now at this moment is is we are consistently inconsistent. Is what I would like to is the phrase I like to use. Um, we show flashes of being really good, and then you know we give up one or two big innings and the game gets away from us but that comes down to not having the time on the field to practice and you know uh we have to try to make the best use of the facilities that we have whether we go into the gym or the little loft area that we have splitting time with all the other spring sports that are all that are all in the same boat as we are um so that that is a challenge trying to get get in as much work as possible trying to keep the field and try to get it in. And, you know, you mentioned coming to the, the Colton game on Saturday. Everything was looking good until about 2 o'clock when the rain started to hit again harder. Uh -huh. um, I think Ewing Irrigation is, is probably uh, happy to hear me call because I call for quick dry almost every day trying to get the field and everything in. And, you know, we all want to play. I mean, this is this is what we've been working for since the beginning of, of the summer. And, not being able to get these games in and then trying to put in two, three makeup games a week is is extremely difficult 
because you can't find the umpires and you got to work around all the other schedules. And, you know, we, the coaching, um, fraternity here in the IE is great. Um, we're always trying to help each other out, get as many games as we possibly can. Like I said, with our tournament, I've had, I've had to reschedule a couple of games and one team couldn't do it. So I've been trying to fill in and it's been great to, to work with such, such a bunch of great guys that are willing to help and just be out there for the kids. And, and like you said, you're all in the same boat. You all need to get some games in. So you're all having to maneuver around the weather and, you know, and kind of be flexible in terms of scheduling and whatnot. Uh, Coach, but let's talk about your team. Let's talk about this league. Um, I know we're already in the league play. It kind of feels kind of weird because it's still cold and it's still wet and you haven't got a lot of games in. But in terms of winning a league championship this year, I mean, what do you, what do you think you guys might have to do well to be in the hunt? Because it feels like it might be wide open. Yeah, um, our league, uh, the Skyline League, is going to be extremely wide open. Um, it's going to be a dogfight, and because we are only a four-team league, we get to play each opponent four times. So we're really going to see who's really going to be the one to basically survive this league. You know, um, Fontana and Eisenhower are extremely well coached. Uh, Notre Dame's coming into the league, and they could swing the bats really well. What we're going to need to do is practice our, our fundamental baseball, have, you know, play clean innings and, and get some timely hitting, um, be consistent. Um, and that's what we're that's what we're working on. We strive to get that one percent better every day and it's slowly but surely coming. So I'm, I'm excited. Uh, my team is relatively young. I've got seven uh, sophomores or freshmen playing on the varsity and I've got, you know, six upperclassmen. So it, it's it's a great it, Great problem to have. And we're looking forward to just keep on building and building and building for the future. You know, Coach, I'm just thinking out loud right now. So, you know, COVID kind of blurred the, the lines and the seasons for mm -hmm. me, so I kind of lose track. But I think it was 2021, technically, right, when you guys went to the finals? Yes. Just on right, 2021. Is there anyone, any, any players, I know you were on the staff mm -hmm. with Coach Niesel, but is there any players from that team that are still around with, in the program? We actually have uh, we actually have three that are that were sophomores that year, and now they're seniors. Um, our one of ours is our starting pitcher uh, Diego Marquez, um, and then we have a couple um, bats off the bench. Uh, Rigo Gomez and Nick Coronado are still there, um, but you know we kind of rely on Diego as being our ace because he's been there, done that, and you know Rigo's a great opportunity to DH for us, and Nick comes in and kind of plays utility, can pitch for us. And, and they've shown some great, valuable leadership uh, helping mentor the young guys. That's awesome. So, Coach, as we go through league play and, you know, obviously league title, playoffs, all those kind of things um, are the big goals at the end of the season. Where does this team, you know, where is this team strong and where does this team need to improve upon to, to get better and make that playoff push? You know, for, for us right now, what we just need to, to get better on is being consistent. Um that's where we struggle. Like I said earlier, we we show signs of being a great baseball team defensively and offensively, but we just can't seem to all put it together all at one time. So, you know, we'll we'll have like maybe five, maybe six good innings of of good quality baseball, and then we'll just get that one big inning where the the wheels fall off. But you know, the the biggest challenge for me is keeping everybody together, and and that's what we're working on. I've got a great staff that that works with me. Uh, including uh, uh, Coach Carrasco and and my favorite person in the whole wide world, Coach Stanford, which, you know, <laughs> working with him for football and, and, and the JV guys and uh, the JV coaches have done a great job of working our off-season program and just building our foundation for the future. That's awesome. And I, I can agree. Coach Stanford's a great guy. So uh, yes. you, you guys see each other a lot from between football and baseball. You're probably around yeah. each other quite a bit. Well, Coach Dufour, hopefully the next time I see you, it's actually at a real game. I know we're, we're going to have some real games. I don't know when, but at some point we will. Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, you're, you're more than welcome to come out anytime. And if you want to take some BP with us and <laughs> get out there, you're, you're more than welcome to do so. Coach, you are the man. That's Dennis Dufour, the head baseball coach for the Arroyo Valley Hawks here on the show. Coach, thank you. Always appreciate the time and best of luck the rest of the season. I appreciate it. Go Hawks. Thank you. Yeah, really appreciate that interview from Coach Dufour. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of Sports Weekly on IEMG. And make sure you subscribe to the IE Media Group YouTube channel. My name is Pep Fernandez, and we'll see you next time.